K-series head gaskets. So we're talking about the head gaskets used in MG, Rover and the very first Land Rover Freelander petrol car of circa 2000 or so. Um, there's a couple of common types that are used. The uh, ones with elastoma rubber rings on which seal around the holes and the multi-layer steel type. Um, so a couple we're going to look at here uh, show signs of the reasons for them uh, leaking. Um, they have a uh, slightly higher failure rate than the average. I remember reading somewhere saying that 5% is the failure rate for the K-series head gasket compared to 2% being the overall average for other cars. Basically the reason for these early head gasket uh, failures is that the oil uh, obviously softens up the adhesive between the elastomer or rubber, whatever it's made from, uh, that should be connected to the gasket which means that this elastomer is then able to move around, especially under pressure. This side is uh, and uh, this side is next to the water jacket. And this side is the oil, so with these sealant beads moving around, you can see that one in particular, had just moved to cross into the oil rail cavity, hence you get water in the oil. So the new head gaskets are um, a lot better that we'll see in a minute. Uh, this is a head gasket I just done which has the multi-layer steel with shim type of gasket and um, the head gasket failed again water was being pushed out of the system uh, when the engine was under load and therefore was high compression inside the combustion chamber and taking it apart you can see uh, what the problem was uh, the gasket the main part of the gasket itself was okay no real signs of uh, or too much sign of leakage from the combustion uh, sealing uh, surfaces but the problem was around the steel shim because uh, it looks the thing somebody had put sealant on this when it was installed there's some debate whether that's a good idea or not but you can see here why it's perhaps not a good idea is here is the remains of the sealant and of course the hot combustion gases have melted the sealant and that's where it's been leaking from the combustion side into the water side here and you see these marks and streaks show where the water and the gases have been mixing. Um, this is the new multi-layer steel gasket, which is the ultimate solution. Um, it's a better design, and it's all in one. It doesn't have these individual strips of gasket that have different um, edges. Um, these are all joined together, all cover the full surface. Got a slight ridge around the combustion area instead of a ring that cuts into the head like you get on the old design probably makes it a little bit more springy so um, to take up that difference in the expansion rate between the steel engine liners and the aluminium block and head and from all of the cars that's been fitted to and I did read there was about half a million MG6s produced I guess mostly in China but some over here as well over the last few years um, they haven't had any uh, evidence of head gasket failures, so that seems to be the final solution to the K-Series. And fitted that recently to a couple of cars, both seem good straight away, uh, without any problems. No water loss, no leaking, and no overheating or uh, water being pushed out. And uh, quite a reasonable design, as I say. So hopefully that is the final fix for the K-Series, along with, don't forget, the PRT external thermostat mod and the strong oil rail is also probably a good idea. I'm not sure how essential that is. Um, but good luck with yours and just shows that the K series um, is a fixable design. Thanks for watching.